Good evening, BHCL. Welcome back to a very, very special broadcast. Feels like a long time since we've done a game three in BHL. I'm Alafresco. I'm joined beside me by my color, t color commentator, Luke. How are we doing tonight, Luke? How's it going? How's it going? I'm so excited to be here. Words cannot describe how much I've been looking forward to this tonight. It'll finally be down to winner takes all. It's pretty much a game seven scenario in the NHL. You win, you go on, you lose, you go home. Between these two teams, the Ohio Otters and the Blue Ridge Blizzard, obviously Blizzard get winning game one, uh, six to four in a very high scoring matchup, but the Otters able to fight back yesterday, um, four to one with a victory. Um, Robe, obviously they're Star player has looked phenomenal all series and looked like the best player on the ice. Yeah, without if a doubt, Robe absolutely just going crazy, uh, beating the narrative of being a playoff choker. Uh, not only Robe really heating up, but just the entire Otters team um, playing at the top of their games recently. Packers finally finding his scoring touch, contributing to the success, the win last night as well. Um, and then on the other the other end of the ice, you have Akuzo, you have Dripsky, both really, really talented players. You have Mimi, who's stood tall in net for many, many seasons now. It's it's a stacked lineup all around. No matter what player you look at on the ice tonight, they're they're dangerous. Absolutely. Um, obviously, Ohio technically has the momentum. They won uh, yesterday night. It's been a while since the Blizzard have won. It's been about three, three or so days. Um, Obviously, a quick mental reset, though, for the teams after last night's game. you got to put things behind you and just focus on winning this one game because it is absolutely crucial that you win. Uh, the Bengals are waiting to see who they will be playing in the finals. They moved on last night. So whoever takes home this game tonight will be playing the New York Bengals in the finals. Um, what are your thoughts on the goaltender matchup? You talked about Mimi being able to stand tall in that, but... Um, Ingo Glaze has also been pretty good. He obviously limited uh, the Blizzard to one goal last game. Yeah, so the goaltender matchup here tonight is so crucial. Although Mimi is a good goalie, his highs definitely do not compare to the highs of Bagel Glaze. Bagel, when he plays at his absolute best, is argu arguably in the running for the best goaltender in BHL history. He has insanely high highs, but... When you have high highs, you can have some pretty lows as well. So that, that, that'll that be uh, interesting to see if Bagel has... What, what kind of Bagel we get tonight, you know? We've talked about it in the past. Mimi, on the other hand, he's a little less, you know, star. Doesn't doesn't quite steal games for teams. But he, he's not as inconsistent. So, really, it's going to be a battle to see what goaltender is just playing at their best tonight. Uh, it's going to be a fun one to watch. And obviously, last but not least, um, fan favorite Sammy the Whale uh, will be in attendance tonight. He bought himself a brand new laptop. I'm sure Otters fans are pretty stoked about that one. Uh, Luke, your thoughts on uh, this, obviously, as being a proud Otters supporter. Uh, not only a proud Otter supporter, but I've found myself to be a big Ben supporter recently. Big uh, Ben being Sammy the Whale, of course. Um, yeah, I, I'm sure he's stoked to be on a new laptop. I'm, I'm watching him right now hit the puck around. He's just kind of dancing around. You can tell getting used to what being above 60 frames is like. He's got a taste of that yesterday, and now he's getting another taste. Uh, fun fact, that PC cafe actually reached out to me this morning and asked how Sammy the Whale's game went. So I was very happy to tell them that he, he won. But yeah, it looks like we will be at full strength here for the Otters tonight. And I believe that the Blizzard are not able to field Alex and R17, who has been in their starting lineup the last two games. So it looks like Outduel will be playing for them tonight instead. It's a, it's a pretty rough blow. Obviously, Outduel, you've seen a couple appearances uh, in the regular season. Uh, he's a very young JBHL prospect. Um, had played pretty well, but obviously not to the level of a BHCL starter you would expect. That's something definitely to keep an eye on uh, as the game moves along, whether or not the Otters are able to exploit that weakness or whether Outdoor is able to play up to the best competition in the league. Looks like we're about to get underway pretty soon. Luke, any last comments? What's your prediction for this game? Oh, my prediction, 
I'm, I'm sticking with my guns. I'm an Ohio Otters truth there through and through. There is nothing that is going to make me back down from that. <laughs> what about you? I, Mom? Dude, I, I really want to pick the Otters. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with a 2-1 Otters in overtime. I think Sammy the Whale is going to end it. Sammy the Whale. and I, If Sammy the Whale wins the game for the Otters tonight, I will buy a custom Sammy the Whale jersey. <laughs> As the faceoff is underway between these two teams, Robe able to win the faceoff versus Dripsky. It's Dripsky and Clamper on the ice for the Blizzard versus the Robe and Sammy the Whale first line as the puck heads out of play. It looks like the teams are switching up their lines here. That means Akuzo will be going against the second line here for the Otters. Being at home ice, the Blizzard do have the advantage to pick what line they want to play against. That's that's pretty dangerous for that second line. Obviously, both players staying on the ice. As Robe tries to get a quick shot on the faceoff, it's loved down by Mimi and played. Dripsky around the outside, trying to hit it towards the center, but no one home as Samuel Whale able to retreat. He's not pressured. Gets it. Almost out of the zone. Dripsky keeps it in, though. A shot. It's stopped by Bagel Glaze. The rebound from Clamper. It's hit away by Robe and cleared. Now in the ref circle. Into the zone goes Dripsky. Sammy the Whale right there, though. And he's able to work it out the boards. Uh, Robe down the down the sidewall as Clamper stays on Robe. Robe for Sammy the Whale. Shot off the post. An early opportunity for the Otters, but it goes, goes just wide as Robe in the corner, hitting it towards the center, but Clamper hits it back. Robe and Clamper fight for the puck now in the corner. Robe to the middle, trying that same pass, but it's hit away by the Blizzard, and they will retreat. Robe, taking his time, works it to the middle. Kuzo now on the ice for the Blizzard, matching up against Robe right here. Robe to the middle, it's hit away by Kuzo. Ooh. Good opportunity there for Dripsky, but or I believe that was Dripsky. Unable to get it. As Packers now on the ice, the second line's fully out here. It's a Kuzo and Outdoor versus Apat and Packers. Otters running the same lines as they usually do as Kuzo trying to center it, but it's hit away by the Otters. Packers across for Apat. Now Outdoor trying to hit it away from Packers. Does hit it to the corner. A pat to the middle. It's no one home as Outdoor able to clear. A big pick from Akuzo and a break now. Akuzo is shot. It's hit away by A pat. Great defensive back check there as he's able to keep the star player of the Blizzard from getting a shot away. A pat looking for a cross ice pass to Packers, but Outdoor, a strong defensive play there as Packers is going to have to retreat. He does get a pass. Outdoor, a shot for Packers. He scores. The Otters go up 1 0. And that is not necessarily something you expect to see because Packers, like I said, although last game he activated a little bit, we've seen some, him shining recently. Playing against Akuzo is insanely difficult. For the people at home that don't know the lore, Akuzo is known as one of the best lockdown defensemen in blocky hockey history. Considered to be a top two player of all time, and the reason for that is mostly his defense. So scoring right there is insanely huge for the Ohio Otters because that just gives your first line a chance to breathe, a chance to really take advantage of the fact that now they're playing the weaker line. Yeah, we talked about earlier how Packers is starting to find his form in the playoffs, and there he shows it again with a huge, huge goal to start this game as they try a face-off play as APAT tries to win it back to Packers and a pass back is cut off by the Blizzard. Packers pulls it back. Hitting it up for APAT. Outdoor absolutely lost, but APAT missing the net by quite a bit. APAT to the middle. He hits it through the crease. This second line really taking advantage of the youth there in Outdoor. He looks pretty, pretty nervous to start this one as he changes off the ice for Dripsky. Packers trying to work it to the middle. It's hit away by Kuzo. He'll go off the ice as Dripsky carries it up. Hit into the corner by Packers. See if the Otters look to get a change off. They do as Apat heads to the bed for Robe. Clamper up for Dripsky, but hit away by Robe. Robe into the zone now. Around the outside. To the middle. Off the post. Good start for this game from Ohio as they control the pace of play. Robe trying to jam it in at the side of the net, but it's hit away by Mimi. Robe to the middle for Sammy the Whale. It's cleared. All Ohio in this first period as Sammy the Whale works it past Dripsky. Or I believe Clamper, as Clamper is able to recover. 
Robe, curving it, trying to work it out of the zone, but kept in there by the Blizzard. Saving the Whale, getting it past Clamper. Saving the Whale around the outside, but Clamper does a good job of keeping it into the corner. Clamper clearing the zone now. He'll hit it down the ice as Robe hits it behind his own net. Robe works past Dripsky, but Blizzard do a good job of cutting him off. Huck changing possessions between each team in neutral ice as Ohio gets it in the zone briefly, but it's cleared away by Clamper. Clamper again clearing the puck, but the Ohio Otters is continuously pounding the puck into the zone. Robe has shot from a sharp angle, stopped by Mimi. The puck ends up in the middle of the crease, but it's cleared away. Dripsky pulls it back. He's got a two on one, but Robe with a great pinch there to cut it off. Very risky play, as it could have been a 2 on 0 there, but. Got the job done nonetheless as Dripsky tries to pull it back. A long range shot was nowhere close. As Robe working it past, but Akuzo with a huge block there. A shot saved by Bagel Glaze. The rebound! Akuzo trying to work it around, but he's unable to get a shot away. Hits it just a bit too far. 30 seconds remaining in this first period. Akuzo keeping it in. But Robe takes over. Akuzo playing further back now as Robe hits it up the ice. Akuzo tries to swing it towards the middle of the ice, but he ends up settling for the boards. So Kuzo trying to pass it back, but Packers hits it away. Gives it off to Pack or Apat gives it off to Packers. A shot from Akuzo from the corner. It's hit away by Apat. Puck in the corner. Kuzo one last chance. It's blocked by Apat. And that'll do it for the first period. The Ohio Otters lead this game one to nothing. I'm going to hand it over to Luke for your intermission. I, I know there's a lot of uh, Ohio Otters fans who are going to be happy with that first period. Yeah, not only are there a lot of Ohio Otters fans happy with that first period, but just a lot of Ohio Otters fans in general last night made a call to arms, basically said, hey, look, this is the time to show your support for the Ohio Otters. And we got a ton, a metric ton of tweets back. Just tweets, fan art, all of that stuff. So we're going to take some time to highlight it. Um, we have a ton, so hopefully I can get through it all in one sitting. Uh, starting it off, though, with Gia probably putting out my the, my favorite thing I've seen so far. The detail in this is absolutely phenomenal, showing an otter skating down the ice. Uh, you can just see, like, the speed lines, just the lighting. Everything about this is actually stunning. It's incredible to me. Um, Amoeba coming up next with a, a different take on the Ohio Otters, showing them not on the ice, but, you know, just, just in some sweatpants, chilling out, got the BHCL logo on their chest. Following that up, we have JJ with some doozers supporting the Ohio Otters. Fans of Foolish know that that's what they go by, so we gotta take another look at that. After that, we have Klo, Ruru, let's go Otters. Following that up, Lee with Ohio Otters, with a very, very determined looking otter, just staring it down, so ready. Lexi following that up with uh, what I said when I saw this on Twitter was, uh, this is me and Damoni in the broadcast booth when we're uh, <laughs> cheering on the otters, because I'd say that that's a, a pretty realistic take on that. Yeah, I'd say so. Finally, we have, or excuse me, we have two more, I believe. We have Lulu Bunny coming up next with a let's go otters showing all of the players and foolish down in the corner again my favorite thing to say sammy the whale fan art here Oof. we have molly finally at the very end with an otter surviving the great mountains of blue ridge and i did google this and it said that otters are very good at surviving the winter they have like special fur for it so this is lore accurate otter here but that's all we have for today. So make sure to tweet hashtag BHCL if you want to be featured on the broadcast for next time. But we have just a few seconds before the next period. So we're going to bring it back for that now. Yeah, absolutely. I myself scrolling through Twitter uh, today just could not see uh, anything else but Ohio Otters fan art. That's pretty much all I saw every other tweet. Um, so fantastic job from the Ohio Otters fan base. It's definitely been the number one fan base in the BHCL. Without a doubt. Sure. But the faceoff getting underway for the second period. Both these teams mixing up the lines, though, for the Blizzard as they'll go with a top stack of Dripsky and a Cruzo. Dripsky almost getting a sharp angle shot away, but it's hit away by Bagel Glaze. Dripsky and Akuzo, the two best players for the Blizzard on the ice. They're going all in. 
on this first line, trying to beat Robe and Sammy the Whale. Robe working it behind his own net, but Dripsky keeps it in. Good forecheck from Dripsky, but it's hit away by Sammy the Whale. Look, there's a cross for Dripsky, it's hit away by Whale again. Good defensive play from Sammy the Whale, as that pass could have been deadly. Kuzo works it out of the corner. Two on one emerging for the Blizzard. He passes across for Dripsky, but it's hit away by Robe. Dripsky out for Kuzo, shot saved by Bagel Glazed. Dripsky out for or, or Kuzo out for Dripsky, but it's hit away by Robe. And all of a sudden, this offensive first line for the Otters turns into defensive first. As in Kuzo trying to work it past Robe again, but he gets pulled back. Robe has shot, it's pinged away by Mimi. Kuzo up the ice. Dripsky and Whale fight for it there, but Akuzo takes it back. Akuzo up cross for Dripsky. It's too far. Robe takes over, but Dripsky able to win the puck away in center ice. Kuzo trying to cross it for Dripsky. Dripsky pulls it back, tries a long range shot, but he whiffs. The rebound he tries to get past Sammy the Whale, but unable to. Kuzo cross for Dripsky. They try to work it back, but it's hit away by Robe. Robe has shot. It goes wide. Dripsky might have gotten a piece of it. Akuzo. Crossing it for Dripsky, but he heads off the ice for a line change, and Sammy the Whale punishes them immediately. It's 2 nothing. What a line change from Dripsky, giving Sammy the Whale a free chance in open shot, and he, on this new laptop, is not going to miss those. Dripsky, you can see him running off the ice as Sammy the Whale just goes up. Looks like, I can't tell from the, the broadcast angle, you gotta realize my screen's really small when I'm looking at OBS, but I don't know who is changing for the Blizzard, but a little bit of a late change from them as well, just a, a defensive breakdown after such a promising start to the period. They're down 2-0 now in what is now an elimination game for them. This is an awful spot to be at if you're a Blizzard fan, if you're a Blizzard player, just anything, and now they have the weaker of the two lines out. Yeah, I mean, just a, dis a disastrous end of that shift. It Looks so, so good. They were generating so much offense. And then that happens. And immediately goes down the drain. Has, there's a shot. It's saved by Mimi. Even the rebound from APAD. He was wide open in front. He just couldn't get the shot away. Packers across for APAD. It's blocked by Clamper. Golden opportunity for APAD there. To put this game up 3 to nothing, But unable to get it done. Looking at a wide open net. APAD working it past Outdoor. Two Packers now. He tries to get a shot away. But it's hit away by Clamper. Piper tries to work it to the middle, but he just backs off here. Seems like this second line is scared of getting beat as Apat tries to cross it for Packers, but hit away by Clamper. Piper again backing off and allowing Outdoor to do the forechecking. Packers taking his time. He's got plenty of it as Outdoor refuses to push him. Packers trying to work it past Outdoor, but a big ping there. Keeps it in along the boards. Packers to the middle. It's hit away by Mimi. Packers gets past Outdoor as he works it into the corner. Clamper having to come over and help out. And Packers doing a great job here. Gets past Clamper. A penalty will be called. A shot saved by Mimi off the shot from APAT. And there will be a penalty. A pretty horrific shift there for the Blizzard ending with a penalty. Yeah, you mentioned that it looks like that uh, the Ohio Otters line might have been scared to get beat. And that's completely understandable. We've actually seen it quite happen uh, quite a bit. When you're playing against players that you're not necessarily sure of their skill level, uh, sometimes you're just a little bit nervous. You don't know what they're capable of. You're scared to get beat by them. I used to always say that Sammy the Whale was one of the hardest players to play against, not necessarily because of his skill, but if you lose him, then you're the guy that lost to Sammy the Whale. But we're about to go on a power play now for Ohio. Akuzo out in the ice for the Blizzard. He wins the faceoff and instantly takes it back. First line on the ice for the Otters. It's Robe and Sammy the Whale, but they haven't been able to do anything as Akuzo dominating the puck on this power play. Robe finally hits it away from him. Trying to get it to the middle, but it's hit away by Mimi. Robe backs off now. But Akuzo with a great pinch there. Trying to get it past Sammy the Whale, but Sammy the Whale hits it to the boards. Akuzo very active on the forecheck. You usually don't see this on a penalty kill, but he hits it all the way behind the net. And that'll do it. For the power play, a textbook penalty kill from Akuzo as Sammy the Whale tries to hit it across the ice, but it's hit away by Clamper. Clamper now hitting it back, and he'll go for a line change. It's Robe, wins it from Akuzo, shot, saved by Mimi. He keeps him within two. A great save by Mimi. Uh, real fast, while we have a stoppage, I just wanted to highlight something real fast. We actually have a record in the house tonight. Um, for the first time in history, Foolish. Wearing his Otters jersey for a four consecutive days, never in history, 
in the world has have uh, somebody worn a blocky hockey jersey for four days in a row. That's dedication. Just wanted to give that a quick shout out. Face off here is Robe trying to get a shot away instantly. And a face off hit by Robe as Dripsky tried to take the puck up the ice. That will be a penalty, and the Blizzard will head to the power play. Is Oh, I lied. Maybe not. I think it's maybe we, it might be an FOV if it happened in the faceoff dot. I, I Referee's going to take a look at this one. Yeah, that's why. That's why I haven't said anything or played the graphic yet because I was like, this. I'm pretty sure that's an FOV. It definitely happened within the circle. Yep. So it is an FOV, and they're getting back underway. So they they have to change the faceoff a center there, but uh, no penalty given. So it'll just be two on two for now as Hacker's trying to work it up, but it's hit away by Dripsky, but Dripsky didn't realize it. Second line here out against pretty much a top stack for the Blizzard, Dripsky and Akuzo. If they're unable to get it done versus this second line, Blizzard might be in a heap of trouble. As Akuzo does actually change off the ice here. Dripsky and Clamper here trying to work it up, but Hacker's hits it away. Across for APAT, but unable to get a shot away. Clamper, taking it behind the net, crossing it for Dripsky. He pulls back. Dripsky, a shot from deep. It has no juice, and it's cleared by Bagel Glaze. Dripsky trying to pull it back, but he's unable to. Clamper hits it across for Dripsky. He's hit out of the way, but the ref will keep his whistle silent. As here comes Robe off the bench. A shot. He scores. Robe gets his first of the game, and it's 3-0 Ohio. Robe flying off of the bench there, fully renewed on stamina, has something to prove, takes the puck from a careless pass by Dripsky, and just snipes it right past Mimi. Uh, I know that Dripsky was hit just a second ago, so probably a little bit of controversy there as the ref did not call a penalty, probably saw it as helping Dripsky as he was hit towards the direction the puck was going. Um, but I can I can tell you right now that the Blizzard are not happy with that one, and, and they're looking for that to come back. But sadly, that is not something reviewable, so that makes it 3 nothing for the Ohio Otters with just 20 seconds to go in the second period. Yeah, Robe, Robe reminded me of a like, dog being let outside there, just absolutely bolting off the bench and potting one for the Otters. It's turning into domination here as Robe takes it in center ice, tries to pull it back past Akuzo, but he's unable to. Chuck his cross for Akuzo, but it's hit away by the Otters. And Robe, yet again, working it up the ice, but Dripsky takes it into the corner. One last chance, possibly, for Robe. Hits it to the middle for Sammy the Whale, but hit away by Exo. And that'll do it for your second period. 3 nothing Ohio Otters. It has been a dominating showing so far. Luke, thoughts on this period or do you got something planned something special planned with all that community uh fan art <laughs> thankfully uh i was able to to get through all of it in one sitting so we will now be talking about the game during this intermission um but i'm gonna let somebody else in the booth shine for just a moment go see ferret what are your thoughts on things you know this as, as a blue Ridge blizzard fan this is pathetic. what all right i shouldn't have I, the mic i am this is awful this is the worst game i've ever seen from them this season in the biggest moment that you could play in, you come out and do this. I mean, Jesus, man. I have no words. Yeah, I mean, I, I kind of agree. This has been a pretty pathetic game for the Blizzard. Outside of that first shift in the second period, which looked convincingly well and looked like they were going to claw back into this game from Dripsky and Akuzo, and that ended with Akuzo crossing the puck for Dripsky and Dripsky line changing, and that instantly killed all the momentum that was given to the Blizzard, and they haven't looked the same since. Yeah, really interesting game here in general. Um, you know, the Blizzard, they, they rolled with their lines basically the same all season. They had the same plan for the entire season. We only ever saw the top stack when they were either already up or they needed something desperate last second. We've never seen the top stack just try to play together. Um, looks like it's a little bit desperate here in the uh, Blue Ridge tonight. Um, I did see Akuzo mention that last game he was really nervous for some reason, which is kind of surprising coming from a veteran like him. Um, but I, I think it just kind of shows with how they're playing and how they're mixing things up. 
and it's it's going to be detrimental to them because they're not giving any of their players any time to try to build chemistry obviously they practice together they know how they play but you can't just keep switching things up on the fly and hoping something sticks you have to at some point just just go with what you think is best uh right now we see clamper and akuzo out on the ice so they might be going back to that but uh, it, it remains to be seen basically yeah i mean obviously with outdoor in the lineup tonight you wonder if that changes their lineup obviously alex and R being out um uh siphon or siphon being out as well um it just that has been a mixed bag of players uh for the blizzard you need to have a core set of four um, going into the playoffs and it feels like they're playing a different player every game Yeah, I'm really, really interested to see how Blue Ridge can bounce back here. Um, I mean, it, 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 it's, it's rough. It's rough for them right now. Absolutely here. As the third period about to get underway, Kuzo and Robe on this faceoff. It'll be a Kuzo and Clamper versus Robe and Sammy the Whale. Robe works it into the zone early. In the corner now. Clamper hitting it out for a Kuzo. But it pinged away by Sammy the Whale. Robe almost gets past Clamper, but Clamper able to recover and hit it to the boards. Clamper now through the middle of the ice. Dangerous pass. It might have been Robe passing it out. But it's hit away by Kuzo anyways. Kuzo works it up the sideboards as Robe hits it back. Robe crossing it for Sammy the Whale, but Clamp read well by Clamper, and he'll take it all the way back behind his own net. Sammy the Whale cuts him off at the boards, though. Piper will try again, and he does get past this time. Gets past Robe momentarily, but hits it just a bit too far. He still continues with the puck as Samuel Whale whiffs. Now in the corner, clamp around count for Akuzo, but it's pinged away by Robe. Big defensive play there. Robe trying to work it past Akuzo, but unable to clear the zone. He tries yet again. Akuzo helps him out a bit. He'll hit it back. Akuzo shot from deep. It rolls and hits the post. Sammy the Whale hitting it up for Robe. It connects, but Clamper hitting it to the boards just in time. Robe now behind, steals the puck behind the net, though. He pulls it back, but it hit away by Akuzo to the corner. Dripsky now onto the ice as he tries to work it past Sammy the Whale. Dripsky into the corner now. It's Dripsky and Outdoor on this second line. Sammy the Whale pulling it back. Hits it into the corner. Outdoor trying to get into the corner, but he gets burnt. It's a two-on-one. As Sammy Little trying to cross for APAP, but they weren't on the same page. As the puck is turned over. Dripsy trying to work it in the zone here. Sammy Little with a very, very long shift. He's got to get off the ice soon. APAP will take over, and Sammy Little heads to the bench there. That might mess up the Otters' first line when they have to change again. APAP. Trying to get it out of the zone. He does. His outdoor gets absolutely burnt. Ape had a shot off the post. Dripsky trying to hit it out of the zone. But Ape hits it back for Packers, who tries to blast it. Unable to get a shot away. Outdoor hitting it up for Dripsky. Dripsky works around Ape Hat. Dripsky alone. He tries to get it through the goaltender, but Bagel Glaze stands tall. Kuzo hitting it up for Dripsky, but it's hit away by Packers. Again, trying to take advantage of the second line are the Blizzard. Akuzo cross for Dripsky. A shot, he whiffs. Akuzo again across for Dripsky, but it's hit away by APAT. Blizzard looking more and more fraudulent by the minute. It looks like they've had two or three great scoring chances to pot a goal and still nothing. APAT trying to get the puck through center ice, but... Clamper cuts him off as Akuzo hitting it to the middle. Leaves it for Clamper. Clamper hits it into the zone as finally the first line of the Ohio Otters comes onto the ice. It's Robe and Packers at the moment. Obviously, Sammy the Whale pretty gassed from that last shift, so he'll be on the bench for a little bit longer. Packers crossing it for Robe. A nice ping there. Robe around the outside. Robe a shot. Save by Mimi. Robe pulling it back. Behind the net now. He's just killing clock behind the net. And Akuzo finally hits it away. But Robe, yet again, just providing pressure. The Otters don't need to score any more goals. So they can just kill the clock. 
Sammy Loyal working it to the middle, but it's hit away by the Blizzard. Blocked at the blue line by, I believe, Robe, but it's cleared. Finally. One minute remains in this third period, and it looks like more and more that the Ohio Otters will be heading to the finals as the Blizzard are unable to put up a fight in this third period. Clamper now takes it back into his own end. It's hit up. One last chance here for the Blizzard. It's worked around by Drifsky, but it's pinged away by Sammy the Whale. Robe trying to clear the zone. He does as the extra man comes out for Blue Ridge. It's Akuto hitting it up. Drifsky will cross for Clamper. He whips for the P3 at the first. The second shot is blocked. And Sammy the Whale <laughs> takes away Akuto's pass. And he will get there with an insurance marker. It's 4 nothing. 4-0 with 17.2 left on the clock. Sammy the Whale burying it home for a second of the night. Obviously has such a huge impact. You can see just how in the Otters play compared to Game 1. You compare that to Game 2 and now Game 3. Sammy the Whale, huge impact player. The Otters definitely missed him. Glad to have him back. And it looks like I, along with many other fans, will be buying Sammy the Whale jerseys tonight as he has solidified himself as an All-Star for the Ohio Otters. Pretty much from zero to hero. Many people coming into the draft hating on Sammy the Whale. And he has proved all of them haters wrong. And has two out of the four goals for Ohio tonight. In a clinching and devastating victory for the Blizzard. Three seconds remain. Ohio will be heading to the BHCL Finals with a dominating 4 nothing win over Blue Ridge, they simply outclass them in every facet. As we line up here for handshakes tonight, I am reminded to make a small correction. Uh, we had been talking about a third place matchup game between the two teams where we would have seen LA take on Blue Ridge Blizzard. Uh, however, that is actually not happening. Uh, that's a mis misspoke misspoken on our part. Um, it is only the finals from here on out. So. Those the Blue Ridge Blizzard have just seen their last moment of ice in the first season of BHCL. Yeah, just coming up a bit short of the finals. Um, realistically, I think the game score really reflects how they played tonight. Um, just unable to get anything going at all. We saw them get chances in that third period, and they just they just looked abysmal all night. Yeah, I mean. They obviously missing Alex and R are huge, a great important piece. But at the end of the day, you got to do what you got to do. And they did their best, but the Ohio Otters just did a little bit better. Looking forward to our next matchup, we have the Ohio Otters visiting the New York Bagels, a match that we saw in the Winter Classic where the Bagels came out on top. Um, and these two owners, they're roommates now. So this should be actually a, a quite an interesting matchup all around. We have a lot of players with a lot of history, a lot of managers with history. Uh, Al, wh what do you think is going to come of that? Yeah, we're, we'll, we'll see as the finals comes down to it. Obviously, Carl uh, and UP definitely have plans for this Ohio team with Foolish and Robe and Sammy the Whale. Um, I was interested. Maybe we can get a winner's interview from Sammy the Whale here, perchance. If we, if you could get him up here real fast, uh, sometimes it is a little bit hard to get him up here. I will say, uh, I guess now that we have the time, I'm being messaged right now that the Blue Ridge Blizzard goaltender is announcing his retirement from the league. We mentioned Mimi's years of service within the Blocky Hockey League. It seems as that comes to a close as he loses to Ohio for nothing tonight. That will be the end of the Mitch Mimi era. All right. Or now we until did, he decides to unretire. We did uh, get Sammy the Whale after uh, his two goal performance. He's now up on the stage. Uh, whale, you there? Yeah, I'm there. All right. Sammy the Whale, how does it feel to get into the finals i feel like maybe for the first time in your career maybe no no i've been once before but we got sweep that time so <laughs> are, are, are you do you have confidence going into the finals uh how are you feeling at the moment uh i mean I feel pretty good you know we came back reverse sweep on that series we 
last two games we've played pretty well so hopefully we can keep that momentum going into the finals i think uh we're all you know gelling pretty well together and as you can see it worked and well enough that you know we're now in the finals so hopefully we can win and get the bag you know <laughs> Yeah, obviously a lot of Ohio Otters fans tuning into this stream and probably this interview as well. Anything you want to say to your uh, fans or possibly your haters? Um, thanks. I mean, you know, it was a, uh, it was a uh, rough uh, when my laptop broke, and you know, I had to go out of my way to try to be there for the team, and and as you can see, it actually helped, and we actually got that win. So. Uh, thanks for supporting, uh, for me. And also my sister said she wants a shout out. Shout out there you go. Sister. Thank you. Ice Colo. <laughs> Same with the well question real fast. Obviously you had to take an Uber to go to a PC cafe last night. Tell us a little bit about that experience. Did you enjoy your time at the PC cafe or did you have a crowd surrounding you as you led Ohio to a victory against Blue Ridge Blizzard? Is it, is this my lore? Is this like this the, is the, the lore, lore question? Lore? Yeah, yeah, we gotta oh yeah, build I mean, out the lore. I don't know. It was like theories. what was it? You were you were texting me. You were like, bro, you gotta go, and I was like, I don't know, bro. I don't know if I wanted to go. And then I don't know. It was like six. It was like six o'clock in that on the day, and I was like, you know what? Yeah, I'll fuck it. I'll just go because I don't know. I have nothing to lose, and it was like. It was kind of funny, you know. I just Ubered there, and I had like no idea where the hell this place was anyway. It was just kind of out there, and so I went there. And it like we pull up, I I get it, and like it's so scuffed. There's just like a bunch of computers everywhere, and I'm like, yo, can I, can I play? And they're like, sure. And then I I got the room, and it was it was quite funny, but you know, uh, adaptability. I was able to adapt and play all right, I guess. So that was a cool experience that I'll be a tell tell I don't know my friends. Yeah, I'm sure they'd love to hear that one. Yeah, if that is a, a it's, yeah, 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 if that isn't if that isn't a team player right there going out of your way, spending a little bit extra money to, just to play some Minecraft hockey to make sure that your team is able to go to the finals, that would be the story. Uh, great performance from Sammy the Whale. Any other questions, Luke? Uh, I don't think I actually so. Actually, a question. Oh, Deloni oh. here. Sammy the whale. What is your favorite color? My favorite color? Uh either yellow or blue. That's a know. brilliant answer. Thank you. I hear the audience <laughs> is clapping for those answers. Really, really good takes by Sammy the Whale on his favorite colors. Wow. Riveting stuff, isn't it? But I I think that might be it then. Yeah. Anyway, I just got I want to say one more thing though. One more thing. Go ahead, go ahead. I'm just going to point out one more thing that, like, I'm just saying, I went, like, fourth overall in the draft, like, fourth round in the draft. I'm just putting that out there, guys. I'm not that shit, okay? I'm not you, that shit. You were before now, but it's okay. I, what do you mean I, I was? That's I support you now. You, you were pretty bro, bad you before now. Do you see who I was playing with? Do you see who I was playing with, bro? Good players make other it. players better, but uh, like I said, okay. I cheat you on you now. Try winning, you try winning, bro. You try winning with Dicker, bro. That's impossible, bro. It's an Orange <laughs> Panda 2. 2017, it's like, it's an uphill battle. I'm Sisyphus sometimes, you know? A lot of players catching strays tonight from the winner, Sammy the Whale. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for your time. <laughs> the Whale, we'll let no you problem. rest. No problem. We'll problem. let you rest on that Good. win. Good luck on the finals uh, on Wednesday. Hopefully, your new laptop can continue with uh, the oh, yeah, luck we, streak you've had. That's what this. That's what the band. That's what the bag is for, bro. So I can pay this off. <laughs> you know. Right. <laughs> Sammy the whale with right. new motivation to not go into debt. Okay, thank you, Sammy the whale, for that great, great interview. But that'll do it for our uh, broadcast tonight. Only one game, but finally we had a game three. The Ohio Otters coming out on top for nothing, a dominating victory. Um, the next game between these or for the Ohio Otters is against the New York Bagels in the finals. That'll be on Wednesday, I believe, at 7 p.m. I correct me if I'm wrong, but um, that will be, I think, it will be a five-game series, as I believe. I believe so. Yeah. So uh, it starts on Wednesday, I believe, and it'll go until 
uh, Friday of the next week. So you'll be your normal days, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, and then I believe Wednesday, Friday, I want to say. Uh, could be wrong on that one. We'll update you that on Wednesday. We'll give you the full details. Uh, but game one, Wednesday, 7 p.m., Bagels versus Otters. Be there or be square. I'm sure the Otters fans will be there. They definitely showed out on the Twitter uh, today. Um, definitely continue to use that hashtag BHCL. We love seeing your fan art. We love seeing your opinions as well. Um, keep showing that support. Um, but for now, I'm Al Fresco. I've been joined by my color commentator, Luke. Uh, Ghosty Ferret popped in here for an opinion from the ref circle. Um, obviously, we had an interview from Sammy the Whale and uh, a quick interview question from the money of the Ohio Otters. But for now, we will say goodnight.